Obviously, a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Quick jab. Just misses with the left hook. with that right hand. That punch was deflected. Nicely done. Ooh, big knee. Fast pace here in the early going. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Shot to the body there. Missed with that attempt. Back and forth we go. Nice punch lands over the top. Just misses there with the left. Just over three minutes to go, round one. He loaded up there on that high kick. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Oh, it's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. with that jab doubles up on it now all right so he continues to use his jab effectively here DC he gets that hand to the target pretty quick I mean just right away blasting the jab after jab after jab he's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab oh high-level defense there the hook shot is blocked by Lee 
Just over two minutes to go on round one. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Connected with a solid strike there. Nice body shot. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab. Oh, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a toughness to even be on his feet right now. That's good defense to block that punch. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Back and forth we go. 15 seconds. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Oh, oh he's wobbling now. Oh. Outstanding back and forth first round. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, back to the stools for 60 seconds. That gives us a chance to re-rack some replays, including what we believe is the strike that caused the cut on his nose. Yeah, beautiful strike that lands, causes this cut, opens him up on the bridge of the nose. It's not a bad cut. But if he continues to go forward, his opponent is a sniper. And he's going to keep hitting him in that same spot. Move right. your head. Really right. choose the times right. in which you're going to advance to try to get to this guy. you got to be careful, though, because he is so good at picking his shots. And, of course, it's hard to know the extent to which that has compromised his breathing. But that corner was fired up. They want him to be more de defensively sound as this fight continues. Oh, nice kick. And he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. The more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also... What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh! Out of range with that one. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work, he opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. 
Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's gonna impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Oh. Nice leg kick. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did. Oh! oh, this one could be over soon. Lee's in half goal. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. All right, well, the ref's going to step in here. He has done a job on his nose. You see what I did there, nose shot? <laughs> but, John, it's a bloody nose. We've all had bloody noses. We got bloody noses in our first fight at seven years old. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let him keep fighting. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee, and it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now he's got to take some chances. He's got to go out on his shield Ready. if he's going to go out, because yeah. if he gets to the next round, I'm not sure he'll get to go out again. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to go. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, yeah. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. This is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Seconds winding down in round two. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Working off the jab, it's good. Straight punch, that is useful. Oh, huge shot finds the target. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch. John, like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. Like it's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen <clears throat> is the person gets more and more damage. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Lee's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh, my goodness! I mean, you got...
got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC.